Hello everyone, my name is Almond, and today I'm going to be telling you how to be toxic. So yeah, let's get into it right before we start. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment something nice, uh, join my Discord, follow my socials like my Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Those are all in the description. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to be playing any games right now. I'm just going to be letting you know how to be toxic. Someone did comment this a little bit ago. I forgot who it was, so uh, comment this, comment it on this video, and I will heart it so people can see who did it. Alright, so some tips to make you be more toxic. Let's get into it from myself, the toxic person. So, ideally, you want to be on PC with a keyboard and mouse. So, that is probably the best thing for you to have, just a keyboard and mouse, if you're able to. I mean, I play on PC with a controller, and but I still have a keyboard and mouse, so for, for being toxic, obviously. And other in everyday use as well. But uh, if you do not, I know on Xbox there is like a keyboard detachment you can buy. But is it really worth it? I would say no. I mean, if you can type fast on like, like, like you have to like move around on your thingy. I, I forgot like what it's like. Yeah, like that on-screen keyboard. That's what they call it. Like an on-screen keyboard. Like go ahead. But personally, for me, I couldn't do it when that fast when I was on console. But that's just my personal opinion. Second step slash tip is to get into a game with somebody you can type on. So type with usually. I mean, saying what a save, spamming that, it can only take you so far, right? Legitimately ins insulting them makes the makes it go so much farther. But this is useful because if they have the EST 2016 tag, you can go EST 2016 and in plat diamond silver or bronze if they are in any of those ranks you are or gold you are allowed to roast them because if they are not in champ for playing the game in for six years like come on man uh, not to be rude to anybody who's been playing the game for the 2000 since 2016 but i mean <laughs> it's a it's a it's a bit you know a bit, bit iffy <laughs> But uh, let's move on to yeah second one, third one. I can't count. So how to insult somebody? So there's several different ways. There is um, if they're taking your boost but you're still beating them, that is the best way. And I my personal favorite uh, one to say is if you're gonna take all my boost, please do something with it. Or if you're gonna <laughs> with all that boost, you could have at least scored a goal. Something like that is fairly good. Uh, if they keep on demoing you, me, you, or, yeah, you, uh, you could say, d if you're gonna demo me so much, at least score. Or, instead of demoing me, maybe try scoring. Something like that also works. If they are just being straight up bad, is, you can say, I'm barely even trying and you're getting clapped. That is also a great one to use. If you you yourself are getting clapped, like I'm not even trying, it's a great excuse. Wanna know why? Because you're getting clapped. Uh, that, that's the only way to do anything. It's saying you're not trying because I don't know if you are or not, but most of the time you are trying. <laughs> but uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, w response. Like, w if so what if someone's being toxic to you? What could be the response? So it depends on what situation you're in at this point. So if you're getting uh, massacred, it's like 10 to 0. Honestly, at that point, just forfeit or just keep playing and just be silent. But if you're winning or it is tied, uh, you could say how if you think you're so good, why aren't you winning? Something like that. Or why haven't you scored some more goals? That also works. Um, or if they have a bad stat line. Say they have like, it's 8 to 8 and you have... Uh, six saves and they have zero for an as an example you can go zero saves basically you can just like roast them on that or <laughs> if you are getting clapped one of the good ones is to say no assists Lamau that one's also a great one because they can't especially in ones because they can't get assists because yeah it's impossible to do that in ones now for the final step I'd usually say is after the fact what happens when you get banned for 
uh, for Rocket League's bot uh, taking your what you said out of context and then banning you for two or three more days. So in this situation, you just want to do absolutely nothing because you're getting banned anyway. So what's the point, right? No, I'm kidding. In this situation, you really just want to do, I don't know, just not, ideally just don't say a swear. Or just don't swear. Because usually that's what the bot is looking for. So if you just use verbal abuse and not uh, <laughs> verbally abusing someone, no, just roasting someone, something like that, and don't swear, you're usually good. Because I've been doing it for the past four weeks and no, and I have not gotten banned yet, even though I thought I would. But a great tip also is when someone leaves the match, don't swear still. Because I got, I didn't get banned because of that, but I just said they're absolute trash. And uh, I said that many times. And guess what? I got banned for three days, even though it was my first ban. So, I don't know. It depends. I I thought first time was, um, first time ban was one day, but I don't know. Rocket League whack. Well, uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment something nice. Join my Discord, follow my other socials like my Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Those are all in the description. I, I'm, I've been streaming a little bit here and there. I streamed on uh, Sunday of last week or this week, however you want to count uh, Sunday. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so make sure to turn on notifications and join my Discord for that since notifications will be going there as well. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.